Welcome to the TLC tutorial on how to use the sign up tool in Sakai. The sign up tool allows you to create and post meetings to your site. It offers a number of customizable options such as recurring meetings and staggered time slots. Before you start adding meeting times for students to sign up, you must have the tool. To see how to add a tool, please view our other tutorial, Managing Tools. Here I already have the tool, so I'm going to click on it. To create a meeting, click on the Add button in the Action bar. You need to give your meeting a title, location, and possibly a short description if you want. You also need to include the location, start time, and availability period during which participants can sign up to attend. You can optionally add a description of the meeting and a frequency with which the meeting will repeat. The Available to Selection area allows you to choose multiple Sakai sites for which you are administrator to and to which the sign up tool has been added. These are the members that will be able to sign up for the meetings. The Meeting Type Selector allows you to choose how you want to structure the meeting. An open meeting does not require participants to sign up, and any number of people may attend. A single time slot meeting is a group meeting for which a specified number of participants may sign up to attend. A multiple slots meeting is divided into multiple slots, each of which a specified number of participants may sign up to attend. You choose the number of slots and the number of participants, Sakai will divide up the time period for you. Once you are finished, click the Next button. On this page, you can view the meeting summary. On this page, you have the Displaying Participant Names to Others option, Receiving Notifications when participants sign up, Canceling an appointment, and Sending an email notifying participants of the meeting's availability. Once you have set your options, click the Publish button to publish the meeting. You can assign participants to meeting time slots by clicking on the Assign Participants and Publish button. Click the Add Participant button in the appropriate time slot to see a list of available participants. Click the Publish button when you are done. Now let's look at what a student sees. Click on the title of the meeting that you would like to sign up for as a student. Note that some meetings will not have an option to sign up because they are open meetings. Click on the sign up button next to the time slot for which you wish to sign up. And then finally, click the finish button to confirm. You will only have one available time slot to choose from if the meeting is a single time slot meeting. Once you are signed up for a meeting, your status column should say Signed Up. Now let's switch back to see how the Sign Up tool looks when participants have signed up. Click on your Sign Up tool. You can view who has signed up for your meetings by clicking on the meeting from the meeting list. And you can see who has signed up in the Participants column. What happens when all of the time slots are filled? If participants list is full for a meeting, you have the option to add participants to a waitlist. You can do this by clicking the Add Participant button in the waitlist column. Choose if you would like to add this person to the bottom or the top of the waiting list, then select the participant's name from the drop-down box. When you're finished with that, click OK. What about locking or canceling a meeting slot? Click on the meeting that you wish to lock or cancel, then click on the time slot. Two options will show up beneath the time slot. Lock prevents participants from signing up, and cancel deletes the time slot. One more important aspect to note is to be mindful of permissions. In the action bar, click the permissions button. You can assign permissions to the entire site or for particular groups. Click the Edit Permissions button next to the site or group you wish to edit. Click the Save button at the bottom to save your changes. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the Sign Up tool. Please visit our other Sakai tutorials to learn more about Sakai as a course management system.